All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a few notes and formalize what we had talked about yesterday. Let's start out by titling our notes. Let's call them moon notes. Now, this should be occurring on page four of your science notebooks. I'm going to write a four up here. This should be on page four of your science notebooks. Now, the first thing I'm going to write about under moon notes, somewhat ironically, has nothing to do with the moon. Or, I shouldn't say nothing to do, but little to do with the moon. The first thing we're going to talk about is we're just going to do a quick recap on solar system formation. And the current theory on solar system formation is that this occurred 4.6 billion years ago. I'm going to do BY, billion years ago. BYA, billions of years ago. And basically, it states, the solar system, our theory on solar system formation, that there was a cloud of gas. I'm going to draw a little cloud over here. I'm going to write, our solar system formed from a cloud of dust and gas. So our solar system formed from a cloud of dust and gas. We called this a solar nebula. Now this nebula it ended up collapsing due to gravity. and it formed a spinning disk. I'll draw a little spinning disk over here. With kind of a sun in the middle. the swirling gas out to the sides. So this theory of the nebula condensing down into a spinning disk formed the sun, all the planets, all of our moons, Asteroids, and meteoroids. All right, and that's it for solar system formation. However, we want to talk about the moon. So the formation of the moon, the the prevailing theory we call the Thea hypothesis. So, Thea, oops, hypothesis. 
And basically, it says that there was a Mars-sized um, object that crashed into the Earth. If you want to, you can draw a little picture of Thea crashing into the Earth. Um, this collision left behind our modern Earth. And that's where we think it came from. Let's talk for a minute about the moon. Now, the moon is about one-fourth the Earth's diameter. And about one-eighth Earth's mass. This is why gravity is so low on the moon. Now, for a lot of human history, we didn't realize the moon had so many surface features. And it wasn't until Galileo came along that we discovered it wasn't quite as smooth and as perfect as people originally thought it was. Now, Galileo was an Italian scientist, and I'm sure we're going to be talking about him a lot. This is a, you know, this is like a little star guy right here. you got to know this one. He was an Italian scientist who made a telescope that was capable of observing the moon in detail. So, Italian scientist who made a telescope and observed moon features. We're going to list those moon features in our notes, but you either already had the station with me where we talked about them more in depth, or you're going to be coming to my station next, and we'll define these features. So the first moon feature that we're going to define is... Maria. Now don't worry about having it defined right here because we're going to do a concept ske sketch later on. The next one is Highlands. And the third one are Craters. So to recap, solar system formation came from a solar nebula. The nebula collapsed and began to spin, 
form sun, planets, moons, asteroids, and meteoroids, everything in our solar system. Anything that was left over got kicked out. The Thea hypothesis states that one of those objects that got kicked out of orbit came and hit Earth and left behind what modern Earth looks like and our moon. The moon as it currently stands is about a fourth of Earth's diameter and is about one-eighth Earth's mass. For a long time, we thought that, you're, that the moon was you know, smooth and kind of this perfect celestial object. And it wasn't until Galileo came along with this telescope and he made highly detailed observations about the moon. One last thing that we want to talk about, um, let's put it up here in this moon section. This is kind of important. I should have already done this, but if you have room for it, fit it in there somewhere. There's no atmosphere, and that's not technically true. It's just there's so little atmosphere that it might as well be no atmosphere. And no liquid water. And that's it. So we'll rotate stations here in a minute, and you'll come over to me, and we will do a concept sketch on the Maria, the Highlands, and the Craters.